This is Leo, and he's starring in a film. More about that later. Leo is one of the most energetic kids of Year 7. When I grow up, I'd like to be a rugby player for the Welsh rugby team, because I'm kind of half Welsh. Go! Pass! He's not going to be a rugby player. Yes, I am! Look how small you are! Well done, you two. Hey, well done. <laughs> but the move to Greenwood hasn't been as easy for Leo as it has for others. What is it like to experience autism? When you first know that you've got it, you don't really understand what it is. But after a while, you kind of learn to live with it. Leo has lived with ADHD since he was five, and more recently, he was also diagnosed with autism. ADHD is um, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, which means it's hard for me to sometimes concentrate. Mister, yeah. stop jumping around. Yeah. Sometimes, like, mess about and, like, do something I'm not meant to do. Get down now. No, no, no. And my type of autism is like it's how it stops me from being able to interact properly with kids. I come across as annoying. Ooh. Leo is loud. He butts into people's conversations. If somebody like gets him angry or start like shouting across shouting across the classroom, telling them to be quiet and stop saying that. Leo, stop! Do you notice that you just need to just stop? Honestly. Shut up! <laughs> don't make noises, Leo. Hello. No, Leo, don't react like that, please. It's hard for me sometimes because I'm because I get in trouble when the teachers don't really know what I'm doing what I'm doing. Right, Leo, go out. I said sorry. No, go out, please. Even though they know it can be part of his condition. Teachers sometimes need to challenge his behaviour to keep him on task. Right, Leo, come on then. Let's go get your tablet, please. To try to manage it, his mum helps him take medication every day. My tablets, they help me calm down. They help me behave myself so I'm not, like, always hyper. And at school, he has access to a special area called the base. Base is a place where we can go if we like, if we're having trouble or if we just don't want to be near other kids. It's where you'll find teaching assistant Laura. What is autism to you? How do you feel about it? Um, something that people might think is a bad thing, even though it can help you. Okay. They come to us and we give them the support that they need. We're there for them if they if they need to speak to us. We're always there for them. Today, Leo's on Laura's radar. His teachers have noticed that he's been struggling to keep his behaviour under control. I have noticed a little bit lately that you're getting yourself into trouble a little bit. What's going on? Nothing. Are you, are you, you need to tell us, are you, are you struggling? No. Is there anything that we can do to help you? With more support, maybe? No. You just seem to be getting yourself into a bit of bother, though. And that's what's concerning me. I worry about them all of the time. The, the children that I work with, I feel are like my children that are in my care. You know, I'm not going to shout at you or anything like that. You're not going to be in any trouble, but I do need, if you need help with something, I need you to be honest with me. Right, I, I'm telling you now, I don't want to see your name on the behaviour log again this week. I'm going to give you a week to turn it around. And if that's not the case, if you don't turn around, I'll call Mum. Do you understand? Yeah? Come on then, yeah. We need to be getting it right. We need to be doing it better. At times, it's good to know that someone at school has got your back. So, what would you describe autism as? How does autism affect you? It's hard for me to come across as normal to people. That's it, just be careful, don't fall down. It's about my autism and ADHD and the way it affects me and the way I react. It's kind of a message to other children. 
that have the same problems that just because you have ADHD or autism or any other disability does not make you any different to anybody else. Leo's a big fan of social media and he reckons getting his sister to post his film online might help others like him. I like it to help kids like me to understand themselves and what's going to happen. But if someone said, yeah, this has helped me to understand myself, thanks. That would actually be really nice because then I would know I'll at least help one person. But before the film hits the internet, Go. Year 7 are going to get a preview in Friday's assembly. Let's get cracking, Leo. Friday's assembly is looming, and Leo's still got to record the big introduction to his film. But the cat seems to have got his tongue. You were so up for this earlier. You were like, yes, we're going to tell people, we're going to post it on YouTube. If Jack Septicor was watching, what would you want him to know? Ringing in my ear. What would you want to say to him? Do you want to give it a go? In a second. You know this. Hello, my name's Leo. No one decides who gets ADHD and autism or not. It just happens. I used to want to get rid of it. I used to hate myself for it because I had it. Now I've realised that it helps me. It can help you in all aspects of your life. It can help you with being smart. It can help you with your sport. It can help you with anything, really, if you know what to do. And I never used to know what to do. And I really hate it. I actually really hate myself. And that put me down in my life. No, none of my friends used to understand me. None of my teachers. No one. You should understand yourself. And if you don't understand yourself, you're just going to be tucked away in your house all the time with no friends and no real family because you're not they're not really going to understand you. And that's not a good thing. If you know anybody who's got ADHD and autism, help them, help to understand them, because if you don't, you're never really going to be their friend. I hope I've helped some of some people out there with ADHD and autism. Bye. Well done. Thank you. Come here. Oh. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> Friday morning and Leo's big moment has arrived. His family have come to support him, as finally he has the chance to show the school who he really is. Is he nervous? Hmm? Kind of. Kind of? Yeah. I can't wait to see it. It's an insight into you, isn't it? He woke up and he, he was so nervous, you could see. We've sort of not discussed it too much, so it's not him thinking about it constantly. I don't want to be in the room. Positivity is fine. I know, but this is going to be good for you, Leo. What you're going to find is that people are going to react really well to this. Hello! <laughs> Hello, you all right, Yeah, you all right? How you doing, little superstar? You all right? Yeah. Yeah, cool. The nurse kicking in, or are you good? You good, good. to go? Mm -hmm. Yeah? I'm a bag of nerves. Honestly. Oh, it'll be fine. So am I now. Good morning, Year 7. Leo here has done an absolutely amazing film about autism. So I'm going to hand over to Leo just to say a couple of words and just just to say how you feel about it. Go on. Do you want to go? Come on. You don't want to? Oh, he's a little bit shy. So, yeah, we're, go we're going to show you the film now. When Leo first entered the school, I didn't know he had autism, but I knew there was something that he was hiding from everyone. I've always knew I was different to other kids because I, I, I've act, I always acted different. 
it opened my eyes, I guess, to think, well, there are some people in the school that are different to us, but they don't want to be seen like that. Where you are isn't your fault. It's no one's fault, really, because it's just natural. When he put the film on, it made me think of my own sister because she's got autism. And it made me feel really good about myself for what I've done to my, for my sister and everything. Just because I have ADHD and autism doesn't mean I need to be treated as different to anybody else. So if you know anybody who's got autism, be nice to them. Right, guys, thank you. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> I think Leo was really brave because, like, if I had autism, I'd be really scared to talk about my own disability. When I saw the video today, I thought it was amazing, and uh, I'm pretty proud of him, actually. To be able to see him speak so openly and frankly was very, very emotional. Very emotional. I was crying my eyes out. So. Good work, Leo. How does that feel? I'm proud because my main goal was to help people understand ADHD and autism. And actually, have, I do feel like people understand me better now. No disability stops you from being the best person you can be. Just believe in yourself and nothing will stand in your way. <laughs>